What's your favorite product and how to improve it? This is the most asked interview questions for the product management interview process. And however, this is the most tricky question because this sounds pretty easy. People can just talk about their favorite product. However, lots of people just felt within five minutes into this interview. In this video, I'm gonna break down the golden framework that's been used by all my students who are currently working for Google, Meta, Amazon, all those tier one companies that are guaranteed them a job offer. Specifically, I'm gonna cover the following four things. Number one, how to select the right product. Number two, the common pitfalls make them fail within five minutes. Number three, the best framework invented by Dr. Nancy Lee to answer this question. And number four, how to answer the even harder question, how to improve your favorite product. Make sure to stay until the end of this video where I share with you the most asked interview questions database for product managers. Hey guys, this is Dr. Nancy Lee, a direct product feature in Forbes. I've helped thousand people land the dream PM job offer in fan companies and unicorn startup and continue to get promoted as a product leader. In this channel, we talk about tech trends and free product management training. Like and subscribe and check out new video every Tuesday. What's your favorite product questions? It's a typical question being asked at those fan companies such as Google, Meta, Amazon, and also includes those hot AI companies such as OpenAI and NVIDIA. Of course, lots of unicorn startup also follow all the tier one companies interview methodology and ask you this very challenging question. All my students currently working for these tier one company has been using the following methodology. Make sure to take lots of notes. Now let's get started. Number one, let's talk about how to select the right product. When prepare for this question, do not select one favorite product. Make sure to select three digital product and plus one physical product. Based on my student currently working for Google, and he was asked those kind of questions, what's your favorite product? But Google interviewer asked him to ask him what's the top three favorite product and select any of the top three to ask him to describe why is his favorite product. And sometimes Google interviewer will ask you a question, tell me what's your favorite physical product. I recommend everybody have a list of different type of favorite product to get ready for these questions. Now let's also talk about the common mistake when you select the product. Some people like to pick their favorite product, but it's very cultural focused. For example, I have students talk about their favorite product is the Indian rice cooker. And some of my students also say their favorite product is WeChat. And those products are very culturally unique. And your interviewer may not be the one who get access to those products at all. So therefore, never mention these type of products. And the second mistake is the talk about product is too common. Interviewer already heard the same kind of answers again and again and again. So let's choose something that's interesting and also accessible to the interviewer. When you talk about your favorite product, do not talk about features, but talk about pain point, which I'm going to describe in the step number three. Now let's also talk about the top three ways to get an A plus answer. Number one, during the interview, you must show your passion and customer empathy because that's your favorite product through the storytelling style. Number two, you must show your strategic thinking because it's not just like picking any kind of product and improving any kind of product. There's a strategic way to make the scope of work much bigger for your product perspective. Number three is product integration. You need to understand how to connect product features into the needs of customers and to create long-term strategic proposals when you talk about how to improve certain products. On top of that, in order to hit those top three key scoring factors, you must use the right framework and lots of you guys made a mistake using the modified circles framework, which is totally incorrect because that's a 45 minutes interview questions. But frequently for what's your favorite product questions, it's about five minutes, sometimes maximum 10 minutes. So you must use a new framework, which I invented. In this video, I gave you examples of applying the same framework to answer what's my favorite crypto product. Um, you can watch out how exactly I solved this case. And I'm also gonna link it in the description of this video. And right now I'm gonna break down the specific framework that create the A plus answer for all of you guys. Step number one is use one sentence to describe the functionality of your product and what it's do. For example, my favorite product is Waze. It's a navigation tool to help people go from place A to place B with the most efficient way. It also has different kinds of features to help all the commuters engage with each other. If your interviewer doesn't know, if your interviewer haven't heard of the app, no worries. You can quickly just show this app to the interviewer and do a one minute demo regarding what is the product. The second part framework is talk about the customer segmentation. For example, for Waze, there are four different type of customers using Waze. There are daily commuters, travelers, government and infrastructure providers, and the businesses. 
For example, myself belongs to the traveler customer segmentation. And me as a new mom, I frequently travel with my kids, my husband, and go to different places for fun during the weekend. I frequently use Waze as a number one navigation tool to help the entire family get to another place fast and without hassle. Hey guys, if you like all the tips we provide so far, make, uh, make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel and let's continue. The third part of framework is pain point driven features. As I described earlier, do not just talk about features, but start with the pain points. My biggest pain point, for example, as a traveler and also a new mom, my biggest pain point is that how I'm able to go from place A to place B with the easiest and shortest amount of time because I do have a large family to take care of and my baby is only seven months old right now. So I really need to spend very little time for my kids to stay in the car but spend lots of time outside the car because babies cry a lot during the car. Then the next step is talk about how the app actually solving the pain point perfectly. Then I will say the following in the interview. I really like Waze because it's always give me the latest real-time traffic information. So I have very trusted advisor during the entire drive, knowing that I am using the easiest way and shortest amount of time to get to my final destination with my family. And in this process, you should give three different kind of pain points about that link into three different kind of features that is going to help you to solve those pain points. And those pain points should also sound very painful and quite personal and with great passion as well. My second pain point as a traveler and a new mom is that whenever I drive, I feel very stressful because my babies and kids I usually cry in the car and whenever I'm stuck in traffic I feel it's totally out of my control I cannot get out of the car to sue my babies and the cars are bumper to bumpers and there is no way I can get out of this traffic jam at all and, and sometimes some bad driver just cut the lane and cut right in front of me and made me very mad but Waze was able to solve this pain point very well. It's actually able to introduce fun way for me to drive by listening to different kind of voice tone during the navigation. For example, recently it asked me to select the new voice mode by Olympian Alexson Felix. And she's the most successful American track and field athlete in the history. And she was able to tell like simple fun uh, conversations like this. I'm telling you, it is okay if you have a few aches and pains as you settle into your seat. Getting older is not for wimps. I'm trying Pilates for the first time, and it is humbling. And, and with this feature throughout the entire drive, I feel like I'm talking to someone, and someone I respect, and also reflect the current event, which is Olympics. In this way, I'm gonna shift my focus from stuck in traffic, crying babies, crying kids in the car, to have a conversation with Olympian and what's the new activities and event happening in the Olympics. Now let's talk about the hardest part of this uh, interview question, which is how to improve it. Given it's already your favorite product, how would you improve it? It's a very tricky question. First of all, you talk about Waze mission, which to improve the driving experience for everybody as a community. Number two, you can talk about the unmet needs that's not solved by today's features. For example, one of my unmet needs was not able to find parking even if I get to my destination. So I hope Waze was able to create those kind of new features that recommend parking recommendations as soon as I arrive. Number three, you can talk about technology-based improvement. For example, AI is very popular right now. What if you're able to integrate Google Calendar with a final destination and the AI automatically recommend when you need to head out of your home based on your current schedule so that you can plan your entire end to a meetings to travel to another event with a seamless integration. Number four, you can talk about end-to-end -end customer journey map that's broken from Waze perspective. For example, as a user, not only want to go from place A to place B and during the ride, uh, you frequently want to check out different kind of new music and different kind of podcasts and maybe ways not only to become a navigation tool it can become a social recommendation engine for us to enjoy our entire 30 minutes one hour long ride if you have been working really hard to prepare for your upcoming interviews however you don't have enough interview opportunities to present your talent it's extremely likely something wrong with your resume i recommend all of you guys check out 
the product manager resume template that we used by 14,000 product manager to land the next product manager job offer. I'm going to link the resume template in the description of this video where I break down in details what you should write on your product manager resume to nail that job offer. If you like this free takes very useful, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to this video. This is Dr. Nancy Lee from PMXAccelerator.io. Check out more coaching services there. I'm going to see you in my next video right here.